Welcome back to the basement. It is time for the exciting conclusion of, uh... Embracelet. I don't want to go back in there. Oh. I thought we were further down the hill already. I saved and, uh, stopped after the last episode and... And had to get back into the file, and of course it started me there instead of here, which, whatever. Okay, here we go. Uh, we just came through the tunnel, and we're at the other side of the island. This is specific. Oh, you know why these look familiar? I think. Because of the shipwreck. That's what I keep seeing in that classroom dream that I've had twice so far. Okay, can I interact with any of this stuff? Where's the point? Just to cruise forward here. Ruins. Let's check out these ruins. These houses must have been deserted a long time ago. Yeah, you think? It's not... House is not much of a house. Okay, that just seems to be... The end of that. This is a pretty game, although I'm getting some, like... Red movie lines on the TV right now? And I'm not getting it in the capture. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna go unplug my HDMI and plug it back in. Okay, that seems to be better. <sighs> Alright, can I look at these dumb rocks? No. Old chimney. Not much left of these houses. Yeah, you kind of said that already. I wonder if this will happen to the rest of the island if things don't turn around for Slep. Maybe. Is Slep the name of the town or the island? Door. Where are you going? You going to the inside of the house to open it outward? It's kind of weird. Ooh, it's night. Ooh. The northern lights. Very nice. Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, at this time of year, located entirely within your kitchen? Buona sera. Try not to freak out. Freak out. Ah! <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's a beautiful night. It is nighttime, is it not? Uh, are you, are you a g g g ghost? I am not whole. That I know. Sto espadando. I wait. That's all I can do. I can't leave. Leave. Wait. Leave. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I don't belong here. Neither do you. Why are you here? Uh, I think it's because of my bracelet. Because of a bracelet my grandfather found many years ago. I could tell my secrets to ghosts. Bracelet? Show me. Muy Dio, you have it. I never thought I'd see it again. I spent so long searching for it, looking everywhere. For decades I wandered this place, saw it decay and get left behind to rot. But still, I could not find it until the boy came. He found it just over that hill. He, I scared him. I wanted him to give it to me, and he tried, but it fell through my fingers. Alas, I could not grasp it. The boy picked it up and ran. I never saw the bracelet again until today. Oh, the, that boy is my grandfather. So it's yours? No, it is not mine. I merely borrowed it and made a promise, a promise I failed to keep. One promise to rule them all. Is this specific? I think well, there would be more left of the roads if that were the case. This must be a different place. Sky looks identical. Do 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 walking home with my boots on. 
You're late on your rent, Kaney. Uh... Boy, none of those are great options. You know what they say. Uh, a butterfly can... Bend a rainbow. You don't need to tell jokes. People laugh at your, at you behind your back already. I'd better get upstairs. Maybe Nadia has made some lunch. Should I get you some? Nah, I don't like your food. It smells weird. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Okay, so now I'm controlling as this guy. And I can run. And I'm guessing there's really nothing for me to do. Look at him, look at him go. <laughs> Why isn't he moving his legs? <laughs> Something tells me that this game is not perfectly coded. But that's okay because it's kind of neat and fun and pretty to look at. Even though its themes are disagreeable. That's a song written just for you from the basement. Hi love, lunch is almost ready. Oh. Signora Costa came by, said she hadn't received rent. Hmph. You haven't paid her yet? Well, if I lost, am I telling that I lost my job because I did? Or is that my, ex is that my excuse? I still have my job, but I'm like spending the money on something else. Capo fired me. He what? <laughs> Oh, I just got him into bed. <laughs> I'll take him. Hey, hey, Bambino. Sorry we woke you. Okay, it's a cute family, though. Shh, it's nap time, my boy. Um, rock cradle. There, there, Leo. This is gonna work. Trust me, it just takes a while. Don't you like the gentle rocking? Yeah, he does. You gotta be persistent. This is what parenting is about. He never falls asleep when his mood's like this. Okay, so we have to change his mood. Let's try peekaboo. This is not the way parenting works. That didn't do much. Okay, I guess we gotta tickle him. Who's a chubby boy? Okay, now we peekaboo. Oh no. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Who's a chubby boy? Now we rock the cradle. Man, with the rocking cradle and the breeze coming through the windows, I'd fall asleep. Like, this game is so exciting, I'm tempted to fall asleep right now. Sleep tight, little guy. So anyway, I got fired. You have a gift, Lucci. There's a calm around you. So you're saying I'm boring. Luciano. Luciano. Of course not. You're the least boring man in all of Alatrove. Alatrove is a pretty small town. The town is small, but you have a big heart. What would I do without you? Hug. Hugsies. I'll look for a new job tomorrow. We'll figure something out. We've made it this far. Worst comes to worst, I'll sell some of my jewelry just to get us over the hump. Oh, a bracelet. Isn't it if worse comes to worst? W-R-O-R-S-E? No, no. I know how important those things those are to you. I'll find something. I promise. I trust you. Now set the table, will you? You should be careful about promises that are beyond your control to keep. Okay, time to... Nadia. Plates. Do do do, setting the table. Set the table yet? On it. Glasses. I like that bed. It seems to be a one room. Look around some more. 
For now this will do, but one day I'd love our own house with a separate bedroom. Well, yeah. Who wouldn't? What else are we gonna look around at? Pots. These clay pots are pretty, but hard to sell. Rough times for most people. Where's her bracelet? Pottery. Not even makes solid, beautiful things. Too bad there's not much interest for these things right now. Her dream is to have her own pottery one day, but we need money for that. Has it been eight months already? I hope we can provide him a good life. Yeah, me too. Let's eat. I clicked on the table, not the pots. Alright, the table is set. Need my cup of coffee. I need to get a job, but where? Not many carpenters needed nowadays. Yeah, you could go to the island, build boats. I should ask around. Um, did we eat? Still waiting for rent. Yeah. Uh. Still waiting. Until next week, then. You got until next week, then my brother will come and throw you out. Well, that's pleasant. Okay. Is there anything I can interact with on the screen? I wish there was a way to, like, click and tell. Let's see what's back here. Nothing. I'm kind of disappointed and kind of relieved. Fishmonger closed some weeks ago. It's probably not a viable job option then, is it? Do, do, do. Fountain. It's all dried up. Like the economy. Oh boy. What are you doing? Nothing. Passing time. Got no job, no future, no girl. Yeah, these are difficult times. Best of luck. Grazie. You wouldn't know of any available jobs around, would you? Ha! Nothing. My cousin joined the military. He was happy until he got sick. Dysentery. Awful way to go. Sorry to hear that. Maybe he shouldn't have been dysentery. Uh, okay. I can get out there, but I have to go. See, this angle shouldn't be able to activate from over here. Well, here I am at the end of the dock for no reason. It's pretty, though. Vegetables. Maybe I could pick some vegetables. Nadia, oh. Those are vegetables for sale? I thought they were vegetables hanging from the tree. Good grief. Oh, what's going to be the moral of the story? I'm going to give some of the barely any money I have to the beggar, right? Another eviction note. And that's going to be what turns things around. Misery, poverty, poor child living out here starving. That could be us on the streets. I need to find a job. That's a kid. Can you spare a moment? Yeah, I can spare some time. How are you? My daughter, she is starving. Do you have a coin to spare? Some food? Anything? I'm sorry, I lost my job. I have nothing. I see. These are harsh times for all but the rich. Oh, those evil rich people. It's a well-known fact that when the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. When in actuality, when the rich get richer, the poor get richer too. Capo owes me money from the last time I did a job for him. Let's ask nicely. Hey Capo, about the money from the last job, when can I get it? Well, I need to get paid before you get paid, right? It trickles down. But when the river dries up, no one gets paid, see? You still owe me. Get lost, your work was terrible anyway. Was it? I won't get anything from that greedy bonehead. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen greedy bonehead. What a poor selection. Most of these are rotten. Everyone's such a complainer. Grocery salesman. Let's deal with this guy. Hey, do you have any uh, jobs? Excuse me, I'm looking for work. You got something? Work? I could barely scrape by myself. Hey, you're Nadia's husband, right? Tell her I've got some spices coming in soon. Okay, I'll tell her. Sorry I can't help you with the job. Things are difficult nowadays. Government doesn't care about us or the small farmers. Drives the prices up, you know. Thanks anyway. 
Wait, what's the government like in Norway? I may have disagreements with the way that the Norwegian government does it, but the sort of anti-Western capitalism sentiment isn't really helping. Am I really going this way right now? Oh, it's taken over. Okay. And that's a loop back around. I don't think I've explored everything down here. Seems like people are always safe to interact with, although not this time. Got kicked by a donkey once. Not fun. Yeah, I'll bet not. They're pretty strong. Recruitment officer. Oh. Poster. No, I just want to look at the poster. Adventure awaits. Join the Royal Army for Strong United Italy. Recruit. Recruitment officer. Ask about... What's the deal with the umbrella? It's a, first of all, it's a parasol. Sir, permission to speak, sir. Uh, yes, recruit, permission granted. It's an honor holding this umbrella for my country, sir. You don't get tired? No, sir, I would gladly hold anything for our great country. I've been holding this umbrella for six months straight now. Maybe one day I'll be rewarded with holding a real weapon. Until then, this is my duty. <laughs> okay. Let's skip the recruitment officer for now. I have the feeling the game wants us to uh, try and avoid that. Wait, is this the same? Wait, how does that road... This road, okay, is the same as this road? It just doesn't make spatial sense. Okay, let's talk to the officer here. Step right up, signori. Want a strong Italy? Looking for security, food, exciting adventures? Tell me more. I'm listening. Italy's expanding. We need recruits to help us. Eritrea is ours for the taking, giving us valuable resources to build a strong Italy. Can't let the French and the Brits get a lead. Colonies are of future. Uh, you have family to take care of? Children? I have a son, but you know how the mil you know the military salary is. Ugh, not much, but it could be enough to keep a roof over their heads. And, of course, the adventure. See new lands, fight for your king and country. Mock? Why would I mock? I mean, I'm guessing this is the 1800s, right? I'll think about it. We'll be doing medical checks tomorrow. Just sign the paper to enlist. Alright, let's get out of here for now. Will the game reward you for mocking? Still waiting for rent. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go... T I'm not going to sign up for the military without talking to uh, my wife about it first. <laughs> We've got an eight-month-old. Hey, I'm going to leave. I have to look for a job today. Maybe there's something downtown. Wow, okay, so I have to sign up for the military without... Uh, talking to my wife about it first. Oh, it's you again. Ready to enlist? Decline, hesitate, or mock. What? Those are my options? Where's enlist? I'll think about it. Medical checks tomorrow. Decline. This is not for me. Good luck finding a job out there. The military is a safe option, I tell you. Ready to enlist? For the king? Ha! Huh. What has he done for us? You're one of those anarchists. No room for the military in your lot. Not anywhere. Leave now. I can't talk to him anymore. I cannot change the 
angle. There we go. Natty does the shopping. I don't have any money. We have to pay full price. Nothing fresh. Poor selection. Is that the clue? You mentioned a ship coming to soon. Today or tomorrow, hopefully. I didn't. I'm glad I didn't pay up front. The captain sounded really inexperienced. Today or tomorrow, hopefully. Look for a job. I should talk to people downtown. Maybe someone's got something. Can I talk to this person now that I've talked to everyone else? No. I can't talk to him. Oh, walking this way, just cutscene. Okay, here's the shipwreck ship, it looks like. Um, and now I'm just standing here. Okay. So now I go down the dock that I was able to go down before to no effect. To some effect. Alright, let's unload this cargo. Drinks on me afterwards. We hauled it up on the deck. You do the rest. I'm tired. Oh, well, sure. We all must pitch in, even if I am, you know, the captain. So this shouldn't be too hard. Wait, how about we all do it together? He's gonna mess this up. Uh-oh. Thanks, Signori. The right man at the right spot. You just saved me a small fortune. What's in the barrel? The finest spices and condiments in the whole of Italy, I tell you. This barrel is meant for the grocery merchant at the town square. You mind taking it over there? I guess I'm less skilled in the arts of manual labor. Bring back the money for it and I'll give you a coin. Sure. If you're having trouble, ask the grocery man to help you. The grocery man can help me push the barrel. Wait, why is it... Oh great, a game that requires appropriate use of the uh, physics engine. <laughs> this is not what this game was meant for. How about I just choose the right dialogue in the decision tree and then the game cuts to black. At least this is working. Am I supposed to give the beggar my coin? I like how the workers are like, uh, we're not going to do our job. And the captain's like, okay, I'll do your job. Why did this vegetable just fall? Give the apple to the beggar. Give the apple to the fruit salesman. Keep apple. Well, we give it to the salesman because it's his property. Thank you for your honesty. I'll give Nadia a good price next time she's here. Why would I steal from the poor shopkeep to give to the poor beggar? Thank you. I just hope my customers can afford this stuff. Here, take this money back to the captain. Whoa, this money could have paid our rent. Too bad it's not mine. Now, I could interact with the beggar now. But I don't want to with a bunch of money in my pocket, especially when the money's not mine. I haven't earned my money yet. Part of it is bringing it back. Thanks, friend. Keep a coin for your trouble. So, you're a merchant? I suppose so. Maker of fortunes, adventurer, captain, ally. I'm Fran Franco? Francio? I'm Luciano, former carpenter. Former? Well, this is your lucky day. I'm looking for a crew. Thanks, but I'm no sailor, and I have a family here. No experience? All the better. Sailors have so many demands. You know, they expect a tight ship. She's saying she's not tight? <laughs> the ship looks well-worn. Ha! No, I mean, yes. She's old, well-built, slow, safe. You had her for long? Long enough that I know the ship will finally bring me the riches we deserve. 
I need a crew willing to help me on my voyage. There's money to be made, plenty, but not here. Where are you sailing? <clears throat> you know, all trade is going south these days, towards the African continent. A small ship like this can't compete with the big fish. No, I'm heading the other way. North, that's where the gold is. Gold? Fish. Dried cod. Easy to store, easy to sell. And you know, these Norwegians lack so much. Simple folks along the coast. A barrel of wine trades ten times. And you cut out the middleman and trade directly with the fishing villages. Ten times, I tell you. And you sell the fish here? That's the plan, or wherever we get the most for it. Spain, Greece, one trip, and the boat has paid for itself. I wish you best of luck, but I can't leave my family behind. Oh, I see. Well, let me know if you change your mind. We leave tomorrow. Me, a sailor? I don't think so. I'll have to talk to Nadia. Stupid crew. They don't look like the most motivated crew. Yeah, they don't. Uh, okay, let's talk to the beggar here. Give coin to woman. Might as well. It's not going to solve our, uh, rent woes. Bless your heart. My daughter will finally have something to eat. They probably need that more than we do. Yeah, she doesn't look, daughter doesn't look like she's doing too great. If the woman had asked me to roll a barrel from the dock to the grocer and that would help her genuinely, I would have said yes. Hey, you'll never guess what. I had some money in my pocket. And then I gave it away. Thanks for the room to stay in, by the way. I'm stealing from you by not paying the rent. Uh, it could be months. It's just not worth it. I agree. We won't get paid until we've sold the stockfish. Sounds risky. He sounded inexperienced. The rest of his crew lazy. And he's going north. Sounds cold. Freezing. So what are you thinking? Uh... I can't leave you two. I don't want you to go, but what are our options? I don't know. Join the military? That's worse. Leave El Trove? Also worse. Remember why we ran away. I don't want that life back. Tell me we'll be all right. We will be all right, Nadia. I can't promise you that we will be, but I'll promise you I will do what I can. There's a baby. There's a baby on her back. Pretty sky. Glad you changed your mind. We're ready to set sail for the magical north. Get home safe, will you? I won't just return your husband safe. He'll also be a rich man. Kiss your wife goodbye so our voyage can begin. Captain's orders. I'm glad she walked him to the ship because now the captain knows what's at stake here. Ma. Goodbye, little baby. You're a little baby. Be nice to your mother, Leo. I'm gonna miss you. Stay strong. And safe. And smart. And sassy. Wait! I changed my mind. <laughs> Don't go. Join the military. <laughs> ah, the bracelet. Wear it. Never take it off. It will protect you. It will bring you back to us safely. Are you sure you've always worn this? You will need it more than us. Just promise me you come back safe. I promise. You will get me and the bracelet back. Well, we all know that that boy, she kind of grabbed his butt during that hug. We all know that's not going to happen. That's why you, you don't make promises that are uh, beyond your control, you know? If you, if you break a promise and it's not your fault that you broke it, it's your fault that you promised it. I don't know. I'm a simple man. A man of uh, believing in responsibilities. Days turned into weeks. Franco, Franco led us safely through the Strait of Gibraltar. Across the Biscay. I feared many times for our lives, but slowly we inched northwards. Until we met the Norwegian Sea a month later.
dreams of this shipwreck. Can't loosen the main sail. Oh, can I, uh... Can I do it with my bracelet? I can't move. Luciano, climb up and help. Right, I'm trying. Where do I climb from? Is it up here? Ah! Kagloosh! Man overboard. Do you see him? Well, the bracelet just tugged me. Look out! Glurb, glurb, glub, glurb, gloob. Well, uh, look around. Can't see anyone. Cry for help. Help! Anyone! Swim. I can't feel my legs. Huh? It's warm. Nadia. I, I love you. My love. I think that means my love. Use bracelet. What's using the bracelet doing? No! Glurb, glub, gleeb. I've got him. Nope. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, this is the rescue mission. In the church records. I don't know what they did with the bracelet. Maybe they just threw it away. Or lost it. And I was lost too. It broke my promise and never returned into this day I've been waiting, stuck. I dreamt of this or parts of it, but I didn't understand. But you made it here in the end. The bracelet led you. So I guess you want it back? Without it, I cannot rest. Well, here, take it. Ooh, I wish I could hold it again, feel its cool metal around my arteries. But I am not here. I'm out there. You must return it to the sea so I can embrace it. Only then will it take me back home. So you want me to throw it into the sea? Yes, I am the sea now. The sea is me. The bracelet must also become the sea. The sea connects us all. Well, if only the captain had thrown it into the sea instead of where the dog would find it. Then we could have shortcutted. Uh, ask a question. Can I ask you one question first? Yes, my friend. Um, what will happen to you when I throw it into the sea? The sea will take me to them, wherever they might be now. I feel them, my family. Time to go home. Goodbye, my friend. Stay kind. All right, let's keep the bracelet instead. JK. I wonder if I'm gonna fall in when I throw this and we'll cut to the beginning scene. Thanks grandpa for handing me this. Time for us to give it back. Stop. Hey, give it back. Can't let you throw this thing away. I've seen you Jesper, seen the powers of this thing. You have? At first, I didn't understand the data. Huge anomalies in our sensors. Then I saw the security videos from the boat. Astounding. This thing, it's revolutionary. 
The amount of energy stored, it's unprecedented. It's not yours or mine, it belongs to the sea. You must be delusional, talking loudly to yourself, throwing away this energy source. Uh, well, I need it back. Nope, this is my chance to prove myself. The start is something revolutionary. It needs testing. This could be a whole new field of energy studies. Tell me, how does it work? Do you just... Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Well, this is embarrassing. Time to tell you I don't know how to swim. Wish I had those arm floaties now. And that's how I ended up here. Without the bracelet. Without friends. I messed up, as usual. Is this a baptism metaphor? Well, you know Caroline gonna save old Jesper. She's got a crush on him. Because he's the only eligible boy on the island. <laughs> I will say they did a good job making her hair look wet here, despite being extremely low. You know, it's flat. Wake up! Please! Jesper! How about a little mouth-to-mouth? There you go. You're safe. Hey, 9.9. .9. Nice fishing motor. You saved me. Do they use horsepower in Norway? Or metric? What did he do to you? We saw an explosion. It looks like he shot, looked like he shot you in the chest. He used the bracelet, but how did you know I was here? We saw the ship leaving, but we couldn't find you. We thought you were still on board. Should have seen the captain when the ship sailed without him. Totally forgot about us. Herman's dad helped us with the dinghy, and we followed the ship here. You fixed the boat? Duct tape. Won't hold long, but it's okay. We have to stop Esmark. He has the bracelet. We need to get it back. What's the story of this bracelet? It's time to tell the truth. Because now we know. Okay, this will sound... Crazy. The bracelet is a magical, powerful object that was given to a man called Luciano by his wife. It was meant to protect him, but he lost it, and he can't return to his loved ones without it. It has powers. It can move stuff, shoot out light, but it doesn't belong in our world. Was that the explosion that we saw? Yes. As Mark stole it, we have to stop him. We have to return it to Luciano. You're right. That does sound crazy. But I trust you. Let's see if we can catch up with Yasmark. Put 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 put. 9.9 .9 horsepower is the biggest uh, trolling mo motor allowed in uh, fishing lakes in Minnesota, where you can run it constantly while you're fishing. Because uh, 10 horsepower is, there's some law against that, I believe, I believe. That's why there's so many 9.9 .9 motors out there. There's the ship. I see it. We're not going to have to learn some new, like, ship steering mechanic, are we? It's not really the point of this game. Just get us closer and I'll climb on board. Or you could just run into the back of it. I knew that ladder would come in handy. Okay, that didn't make us do it. Stay away, kids. Oh, jeepers. He hit the motor. That's right, you can't stop me. Okay, he doesn't know we're here. One of those air cannons used to map the seafloor. Uh, let's examine it. There's a button cover here and a warning label. There's a switch behind that cover. There we go. Arm seismic cannon. Uh, let's not flip the switch. I guess they use those torpedoes to map the seafloor. You have to understand that bracelet doesn't belong in this world. It's so powerful, it needs to be tested, examined. People will finally listen to me. Shut up, I'm in charge now. 
You're no better than the captain and the rest of his greedy old farts that run your country. I'm nothing like those ignorant fools. That didn't do much. I'm guessing we're supposed to arm the cannon. That seems quite foolhardy. Can we just get blasted? Stay away! Okay, there's really only one thing to do here. Ooh. Let's check out the electronics. Detonation unit. Authorized service personnel only. Warning. Contains static sensitive components. Detonation unit? Maybe I can set this thing off. Create a little distraction. So what? I want Esmark to shoot this thing? Warning label. High pressure. When arm light is on, detonation may cause death or serious injury. Alright, let's flip the switch. Light's on. I think the seismic cannon is on. Time to get out of here. Bracelet is mine. The cannon is armed, but how do I set it off? Push, examine. There's some sort of button here and a warning label. Do I mess with the electronics now? Push. Ah. Now I get him to fire the bracelet. Uh, or maybe not? Can I push this again? Provoke. Uh oh. I probably shouldn't have been. Okay. Ha! Sweet. My ears! Oh, my freaking ears! <laughs> uh, is he dead? Well, way to go, you murderer. The bracelet. Yes, the bracelet is there. Uh, let's go around this side. Wait, what was that? Okay, I can't see. Life raft container. It's stuck! You're stuck. Scrap metal. Gotta get closer. Gotta get closer to look at it. What's that gonna do? Let me jump up here. All right, chuck it into the sea, quick. That door looks like it's no longer, poor guy. Not that poor. Life raft container, it's stuck, but I have my bracelet back. Sorry, Luciano. I gotta, uh, I gotta find myself here. Wow, time to leave. How apropos.
Better jump, you dummy. That did a pretty good job of making the height feel real. Yeah, jump. Okay. Wait! You're, you're alive. Please. I have a flare gun. <laughs> this is our chance. Loners like us, we get neglected. With that thing, we can finally have our say. People will listen to us. Aren't you tired of being insignificant? Well, I guess we're all insignificant. Uh, actually, I would argue we're all significant. But between you and me, you're the only loner around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a promise I intend to keep. Matrix Dodge. With the slow motion and everything. You could have, um, I don't know. Jumped toward the life raft. Haven't we done this already? You're a ghost now. little bit of performance issues there. Meant to be a... important scene, I guess. Lots of items to animate. This is the fastest it can go. I told you we should be happy this thing still works at all. Sorry, that explosion didn't look good. Yeah, we should be getting close. I can't see anything, though. Wreckage! What, an oil? That oil spill. The ship went down. You think he... Jasper! Jasper! Where are you? Come on, buddy. Can't see him. Jasper! We came too late. We've gone too far. Oh my gosh, the whale we saved. <laughs> okay. Shockingly naive in its portrayal of how the real world works. And bracelet does many things right. But falls short. Hi. Hey, you gotta stop drowning, okay? Just had to make an underwater delivery. Good to have you back. How'd the whale pick him up? Let's return before this thing deflates. Help. Please. Over here. Should we help him? Yes. I don't know. He almost killed Jesper. You decide. Of course we rescue him. He doesn't deserve it, but we can't let him drown. We'll give him to the captain when we get back. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be rescued, but we can't let him drown. We can't let people get what they deserve. I don't know. 
the whole basis behind the moral high ground of these characters is suspect. They're still cleaning up the mess. Luckily, the oil spill from the ship didn't reach Slep. How would there be an oil spill if they hadn't, like, even drilled any oil yet? They said on the news that the oil company is blaming the accident on sabotage. I guess Esmark's going to jail or a mental hospital. It was sabotage. One good thing, though, they said the protests against the surveys rose to an all-time high after the accident. I think people on the mainland might actually care about us. We'll see how long it lasts. No seatbelts on the bandwagon. People tend to fall off. It's a start. Hope so. What's on your mind, Jesper? You okay? Uh, let's talk about friendship. Eh, it's just the summer's been overwhelming. Meeting you two, all the crazy stuff that's happened. Even after I messed up, you came back to help me. I really appreciate it. Eh, don't mention it. It's been the least boring week ever. Explosions, whales, shipwrecks. Herma, did you just say something positive? Did you admit you were having a good time here on Slep? It's the first time for everything, I guess. I'm glad we didn't talk about the bracelet. Can I turn on music? No. Hermid, Caroline. Hey, listen. Uh, let's go for a walk. Can you come with me for a second? Sure. I want to put on some romantic music. Yes, please. I'm kidding. Oh, we're going to walk this way. It's a dead end. I might drown. Again. So, what's up? I was just thinking. Uh, yes, come visit me. That makes it sound like it's over. This makes it sound like it doesn't need to be. It'd be cool if you'd come visit me sometime. Yeah, I'd like that. But you know, helping mom and dad with the house this summer. Just don't forget yourself and what you want. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Really, I... Yeah. So the boat's picking you up tomorrow? Yep, back to the city. Wish I could have stayed longer. Yeah. Summer's always too short. What? Should I have tried to be funny? That wouldn't have done anything. Where's Hermit? He knows you're leaving now, isn't he? Doesn't, doesn't he? I think so. Maybe he slept in the lazy git. There's my limo. Hey, uh, maybe we should call mom. Can we play this? No time for that now. Okay. I don't need to call mom. I'll be home tomorrow night. Jeez, I would call mom. Let's at least say goodbye to the colonel. I'm off. Take care, Izzy. She's a sweet dog. We'll do safe travels. Oh, by the way, there's a submarine. Why is there a secret submarine base on this island? Huh? What? There's no secret military submarine base here. It was you who opened the gate to the base, wasn't it? Gate? What base? The, uh... Listen, you can't tell anyone about what you might have seen here. <laughs> Even if the base is defunct, I'm still in charge of it. One day this nation will need an installation like this again, and I intend to keep it ship -shaped. Don't worry, I never saw any submarine in any hidden cave. Good. Goodbye, puppy. Thanks for the help. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love humans. Alright, let's get out of here. I heard you're turning the school into a guest house. I've got two families looking for a place to stay next week if you have room. Wow, great. We should have a couple rooms ready in time for that. And you, how was your week up here? It was... Emotional, I guess. Not bad, not bad. Yep. Jump on board so you can get back for the bus. Back to homework. Yay. So I guess this is it. Wait. I'm coming with you. <sighs> Made it. Why are you wearing a backpack? I did it. I talked to Dad. How'd he go? What'd he say? He didn't kill me. He just went silent. Are you leaving? Where are you going? Big city, baby. Okay, if I take along? Of course. Wow. When are you coming back? You're coming back, right? Never. 
Just kidding, I don't know. There's still three weeks left before school starts. What? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just, you know, you both are leaving and I'm... Never mind. It's great you're getting a break. You deserve it. Folks, time to leave. Dude, kiss Caroline. Take care, boys. You too. I'm glad I met you. You're awesome. You're not too bad yourself for a southerner, I mean. Hermit, call me, okay? Let me know you're okay. Promise, I'll bring back some action movies for us to watch. <laughs> Bye, Caroline. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a way to get those two to kiss or what. So? What? Caroline, did you see her? Yeah. She was crying. Yeah, her best friend is leaving. No, because of you. She told me yesterday that she wanted to go with you, but she was afraid. Afraid of what? Of what you felt about her, about her messing up your studying, about leaving the island. I didn't know. Well, what do you feel about her? Uh, you want her as a friend, you want to see her again. I want to see her again. Skipper, hey, turn around. What are you doing? We'll miss the bus. You're gonna miss the bus. She's not here. You know where to find her. Not sure if this is a good idea. Kidding me? It's the best idea. What if... Stop stalling! <laughs> Run after her, you. I like that it's poo, and then what? Is that utters? <laughs> Exclamation points. Okay, so I'm glad that there's a chance to... Whatever. Fix this. And I like the music. Okay, now it seems to be auto controlling here. Oh, look. Are you looking for Caroline? Maybe. Yeah, did you see where she went? She ran towards the forest up there. She looked a little sad, poor girl. I have to see her. Good, she talked about you the other day, by the way. The spark in her eyes. Listen to me rambling. You better go, young man. Okay, where? This way? Oh yeah, this. Hey, flowers. Can, yeah, pick them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, huge missed opportunity to not let us, wait a minute. TV interview. Oh, I never did fix the eagle statue. There's a buoy barely in sight of the Olsen house when you're like not quite there that you're supposed to put in the eye of the eagle. I looked it up, because I never found it. Oh, good grief. We're, we are going to miss the bus. This is like the least responsible thing to do. What are we gonna do when we get to the bus stop? Just wait? I hope they made this triumphant music long. Feels like my heart's gonna explode. From uh, your physical exertion or your emotional exertion? He's gonna fall off the cliff, break both legs and arms. Ugh. If you wanted to make the camera angle sweeping, you should have made the, uh, this a little more intuitive. Are they, is it really gonna make me do this again? What if she's not up there? Bro, she's not. I'm going as fast as I can, guys. I know this is a long finale. Well, it's not as long as episode two.
Sneak up on her. I came back. I couldn't leave you. I am stupid and don't know you're wearing headphones. Caroline? <gasps> Jesper! You didn't hear anything I just said, did you? The music. I didn't expect... Uh, I can't believe you're still here. I came back for you. And you climbed all the way up here? You said never again. <laughs> like a wise girl once said, you gotta follow your heart. Okay, that line was better than the first attempt. Good thing she was wearing headphones. Oh, That's very nice. Ooh! Little butt grabbing action going on there too. <laughs> the end. Well, Mattis, you, uh, you make a pretty game. Uh, an atmospheric game, an emotional game, good storytelling. Your moral grandstanding is going to be, is, it's going to make people who already like the game and agree with you like it even a little better. And it's just going to put off a lot of people that don't agree with that. Follow your heart. Yeah, well, the heart is deceitful above all things. Read your Bible. That's my advice to you. <laughs> um... Yeah, it just, a lot of naivete, in my opinion, about how the world really works, how capitalism is evil and organized religion holds, oppresses the masses and all that, just wasn't necessary. It didn't add to the story, you know? Like, would you like a game like this with a bunch of obnoxiously uh, pro-religion, pro-capitalism you know, Republican politic stuff in it that doesn't add to the story, just thrown in there, glommed alongside of it. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't appreciate that. And if I made a game, I wouldn't do that. So, but I'm making a video about this game and I'm doing that a little bit, but it's really only in response to what was already there. So there's some rambling thoughts at the end of the game. I got to uh, film, record a review now. So I'm going to do that. Uh, thanks for joining me for watching the game. What did you think of the game? What did you think of any of the stuff that I enjoyed, any of the stuff that I didn't enjoy, or any of the stuff I didn't talk about that you thought was remarkable? Uh, you can let me know in the comments below. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this game and the end of this video. And uh, we'll play something else next time in the basement.